right guys, it's winter time. It's kind of chilly. It's a good time for skiing powder, but it's also a good time for my sweet potato shrimp and chicken chowder. This is the next video in the Paleo Potage series. We'll be right back. Paleo. I'm gonna start with my cast iron pot. I love this thing and I love making soup. I'm gonna chop up some garlic to get started. And then I've got two stalks of celery. Cut the ends off. We'll split these babies right down the middle. All right, and that's kind of what I'd call a medium dice. So we'll follow suit with the onion. We're going for a medium dice. And ultimately, it's all to match up with our sweet potatoes, which we've already peeled and diced over here. Before I cut the onion, I'm gonna start toasting my garlic, some olive oil into the pot, and then the garlic's going in. Garlic's toasting up, so we're going in with our onions, our celery, and our sweet potatoes. This is about six cups of diced sweet potatoes. I'll hit that with some gaga garlic. And this has thyme in it, a little bit of thyme, which will go nicely with our chowder. We also have the salt that will pull the moisture out of these veggies and help them cook. All right, we're going lid on, and we'll let that cook. All right, let's take a look. A lot of moisture, you guys see that? We've been steaming this stuff. It smells good, we got a good start on our potatoes, which is what we're going for. They're ultimately gonna determine when this is ready, right? We, we don't want an undercooked potato in our chowder. So I'm gonna clear half of my pot, season a one pound of ground chicken with gaga garlic. Give a little bit more oil on that side. And then we'll go season side down. I'll just move right into that oil, top side. And then we'll just kind of chop and fold this in. Um, we talked in the beginning there about potager, paleo potager. What that is in the French brigade system, kind of how they rank or uh, organize the kitchen, it's the soup cook, right? Potager. So we have probably 10 videos in the potager series. If you like cooking soups, be sure to check those out. All right, I think we're about there, guys. And now we're gonna come in with chicken stock, two cups coconut milk, and then what we wanna do is we're gonna thicken this up, right? Since we don't have cream or like a roux base made out of flour, we're gonna use about a cup of sweet potato puree. While that's going, I'm gonna cut our shrimp in half. This will give us a nice spread. It'll seem like we have more shrimp in our soup than we actually do. Mmm, delicious. That coconut milk added a little sweetness. Our sweet potato puree gave us some sweetness. These shrimp are gonna cook quickly, so you could just put them in the bowl that you're gonna serve it in, and then pour the hot chowder over it, and, and just the heat from the chowder will cook the shrimp. Okay, I've picked the leaves from about, I don't know, 10 stems of uh, Italian parsley. I saved one here, kind of to garnish, and then I'm gonna chop these guys. This will bring some color to our chowder. Just a rustic chop, nothing too crazy. It's been our shrimp, sweet potato, and chicken chowder. Uh, soups are great for making ahead. They're great for on the go, and they're really good for helping you keep it paleo.